Let's begin with the drawing. So first you're going to draw two structures that are circular at the top and then thin down at the bottom to form a point. These make up the four chambers of the heart, the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. Except when we look at it this way, the left atrium and left ventricle will be located on our right side, and the right atrium and right ventricle are located on the left side. Next, we're going to draw an artery stemming from the left side of the heart, which is technically the right, as well as another artery stemming from the right side of the heart, which is on our left. And now it's time to draw the veins stemming from the left atrium as well as the right atrium. And located on the right atrium of the heart, there are two nodes. Now it's time to draw all the valves, one located between the right atrium and the right ventricle, as well as another located between the left atrium and the left ventricle. There are also valves located between the arteries and the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Now it's time to annotate and define. When discussing the heart, you also have to mention the two types of circuits that are involved in blood flow. One is the pulmonary circuit, which sends deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. This will be shown in blue. The other is the systemic circuit, which sends oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body, which will be shown in red. We are going to start with the pulmonary circuit. Deoxygenated blood is brought into the right atrium through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The contraction of the right atrium causes the blood to be pushed down into the right ventricle through the atrioventricular valve. This valve prevents backflow going back into the right atrium. The increase in pressure in the right ventricle causes the right semilunar valve to open, which allows the blood to now go into the pulmonary artery and leave the heart to head for the lungs to get oxygenated. That moves us on to the systemic circuit, which takes the oxygenated blood and sends it to the rest of the body. The pulmonary vein brings blood into the left atrium. The left atrium will contract and that sends the rest of the blood into the left ventricle through the atrioventricular valve on the left side. That valve will then slap shut so there is no backflow. Again, due to the increase in pressure in the left ventricle, the left semilunar valve is open and allows the blood to enter the aorta, which is the main artery of the heart, and go out into the rest of the body. Now speaking of the two nodes that are located on the right atrium, one being called the sinoatrial node or the SA node, and the other being called the atrioventricular node or the AV node, they help control the heart rate, which is the contraction of the four chambers allowing blood flow to go in and out through the heart to the lungs and then to the rest of the body. First, the medulla of the brain will sense an increase of carbon dioxide in the bloodstream, and then that will signal the SA node to fire faster, which means to pump blood faster, increasing the blood flow that goes within the four chambers of the heart. Once the SA node is signaled by the medulla, then the SA node will signal the right and left atria to contract faster, as well as signaling the AV node to wait 0.8 seconds and then tell the right and left ventricles to contract. This explains the blood flow within the heart and the increase and decrease of pressure within the four chambers.